This is the top of page 90 of chapter six of The Lightning Thief. I was kicking and punching. I'd been in plenty of fights before, but this big girl, Clarice, had hands like iron. She dragged me into the girl's bathroom. There was a line of toilets on one side and a line of shower stalls down the other. It smelled just like any public bathroom, and I was thinking, as much as I could think with Clarice ripping my hair out, that if this place belonged to the gods, they should have been able to afford classier Johns. Clarice's friends were all laughing, and I was trying to find the strength I'd used to fight the Minotaur, but it just wasn't there. Like he's big three material, Clarice said as she pushed me toward one of the toilets. Yeah, right. Minotaur probably fell over laughing. He's so stupid looking. Her friends snickered. Annabeth stood in the corner watching through her fingers. Clarice bent me over on my knees and started pushing my head toward the toilet bowl. It reeked like rusted pipes and, well, like what goes into toilets. I strained to keep my head up. I was looking at the scummy water thinking, I will not go into that. I won't. Then something happened. I felt a tug in the pit of my stomach. I heard the plumbing rumble, the pipes shudder. Clarice's grip on my hair loosened. Water shot out of the toilet, making an arc straight over my head, and the next thing I knew, I was sprawled on the bathroom tiles with Clarice screaming behind me. I turned just as water blasted out of the toilet again, hitting Clarice straight in the face so hard it pushed her down onto her butt. The water stayed on her like spray from a fire hose, pushing her backward into a shower stall. She struggled, gasping, and her friends started coming toward her. But then the other toilets exploded too, and six more streams of toilet water blasted them back. The showers acted up too, and together all the fixtures sprayed the camouflage girls right out of the bathroom, spinning them around like pieces of garbage being washed away. As soon as they were out the door, I felt the tug in my gut lessen, and the water shut off as quickly as it had started. The entire bathroom was flooded. Annabeth hadn't been spared. She was dripping wet, but she hadn't been pushed out the door. She was standing in exactly the same place, staring at me in shock. I looked down and realized I was sitting in the only dry spot in the whole room. There was a circle of dry floor around me. I didn't have one drop of water on my clothes. Nothing. I stood up, my legs shaky. Annabeth said, how did you? I don't know. We walked to the door. Outside, Clarice and her friends were sprawled in the mud and a bunch of other campers had gathered around to gawk. Clarice's hair was flattened across her face. Her camouflage jacket was sopping and she smelled like sewage. She gave me a look of absolute hatred. You are dead, new boy. You are totally dead. I probably should have let it go, but I said, you wanna gargle with toilet water again, Clarice? Close your mouth. Her friends had to hold her back. They dragged her toward cabin five while the other campers made way to avoid her flailing feet. Annabeth stared at me. I couldn't tell whether she was just grossed out or angry at me for dousing her. What, I demanded, what are you thinking? I'm thinking, she said, that I want you on my team for Capture the Flag.